So over the festive period, we saw a big, big change to one of the longest standing events in the game in the Castle Wheel. This event is obviously well known to you. everyone at this point. You spin the wheel, for each spin you get a seven-pointed star. Those seven-pointed stars can go into the fortune shop and you can buy premium castle skins, now premium march skins. Castle Awakening, even for lower spending players, you can get the rare exterior selection chests and get, say, the Rebel March skin for just 200, which you can realistically grind towards as free-to-play. So this event does have value for everyone. And when this was initially changed, I assumed it would be a special event for the festive months because they do often tweak the events around Black Friday and Christmas. But now going into January, we've seen it return again in this form, so it seems to be a permanent change. The change on the wheel, of course, is at the top here. You would have previously gotten the most recent release of Castle of March skin in full, in permanent. Now you get 1,007 pointed stars directly, which is much better because you can choose whatever you want as opposed to just being at the mercy of, of what was released most recently. Obviously the main thing that gets recommended to players is Sunken City because of the 30k army size. Until you get to that very, very top tier of play where you're running synergies with F5 commanders and have huge army sizes already. This is typically the best castle skin in the game for players. Especially as that army size is passive so it applies to the likes of Arena of Honor, Siege of Winterfell, All Out War. It just has universal uses, which other castle skins typically don't, to the same extent at least. But probably even more importantly than just uh, the jackpot being changed is we've also seen the addition of seven-pointed stars in lower quantities added to the wheel itself as consistent drops. So previously you'd just be getting ten per spin, so that is why the likes of Sunken was previously referred to as like a 10,000 BD castle because you would typically have to spend 10,000 black diamonds to actually obtain it, because hitting the jackpot was just so rare. So if you're, if you're curious, this replaced another instance of the purple Castle Awaken Essences, this replaced another instance of the legendary Castle Awaken Essences, and also these training speeds are new, these replaced friendship chests which were there previously. So the point of this video is very simple, I have tracked some data, there are 2,200 spins of this wheel in this data sample, and I'm just going to look into approximately with the data I have how much cheaper getting those premium castle skins now is with the additional means of obtaining these seven-pointed stars, and roughly how many spins you're going to have to do to hit the 1,000 seven-pointed stars to actually buy what you're after. Before I get into the data, in its entirety, there's obviously a lot of numbers here. I imagine most people don't overly care about any of this stuff. It's good, it's free stuff, but if you're spinning this wheel, you're probably after the tokens with the seven-pointed stars to be chasing those Souls or March skins in the fortune shop instead. The 1,000 stars at the top of the wheel here, which has replaced the All Castle or March skin, I have here, of course, in my data, I didn't hit it, so it's a 0% drop rate. Anecdotally, though, I have seen, like, in HOH alone, I think four, four or five hits of this in the past two events alone on main accounts, not on alts. So in the past, what, nine, ten months I've been here, I never saw anyone hit this on their main account. I never saw them hit the castle in full. And some of these people that have hit it in full on their main accounts this time have been with just the free spins, so it's not people actually coining on it either. Which does make me wonder if the drop rate 1000 stars is a bit higher than the full castle was previously obviously i don't have data to back that up at all and it's just purely anecdotal from how many times i've seen people hit this and share it around compared to the previous castle will so for the five tokens here the drop rate is six percent which is higher than i would have expected going in honestly quite high for five seven pointed stars on the wheel and for the one seven pointed star it's about 12.5 percent you're, you're approaching about 20%, one in every five spins you do in this, hitting additional seven-pointed stars, which really helps tick up the, the total amount you're going to get. If you don't spend on it, you will have 
13 spins of the wheel each event. Have one free attempt each day. It lasts three days, so that's three attempts. You will be able to buy three with gold and seven with diamonds for a total of 13. That should average out to being about 18 seven pointed stars a month. If you go all the way to a thousand, like you would have had to have done previously, you can really see how many seven pointed stars you're getting from these spins. And if you go all the way to 1000, you will have excess of 400 additional seven pointed stars, which is massive. It makes the event so much cheaper than it was previously. It's still very, very premium, of course, but that is so much better than it was before, especially during those discount events where the books go down to 5 BD per rather than the default 10. But of course, the most important part of this is how many spins are required to get to 1000 stars, and that will be these columns here, and it will be a total of 712 spins, which means all in all, the castle will is now effectively 30% cheaper than it was previously. So those 10,000 BD skins, you're going to be now looking at about 7,000 BD, and if this carries through into next Black Friday and next Christmas, it should be about 3,500 black diamonds to get 1,000 seven-pointed stars. So as a long-term goal, it might be something that some of you out there might want to plan towards in the future. And just as a final point, I mentioned you can get the rare exterior selection chests as even free-to-plays, but from scratch it will take you about 11 months now to go up to 200 seven-pointed stars to get that Rebel March skin, which admittedly is still a long time, but you can now in less than a year that much skin on, say, all of your alts, all of your pre-hitters. And if you are a long-term player, you're not intending to quit. Similar to the Corolla event, with upgrading your Enzo and Fionn and pre-hitters, it might probably be a good idea to spin this wheel monthly on alts and go for that Rebel March skin as a goal.